Hi, it's Richard and John, RJ Coins. Part 22 of our head-to-head -head two pound challenge. Uh, we've done really well so far. Still looking for some really rare Commonwealths, Olympic handovers, Mary Rose I need. Of course, John got that in episode 21. Still need an underground train. That's probably my most realistic option. John, one Commonwealth short. He hasn't got the Northern Ireland. Of course, I've picked up two, but the last one wasn't enough to even win that episode because uh, John picked up the Rio handover for his sheet on that one. And John has everything bar the 15 Britannia, which probably is his most realistic option for a find. So let's see how we go. Had to actually have a look at the... Uh, the recording of the previous one just to remember what we've got because we recorded quite a few back to back and then haven't recorded for two or three weeks for two pounds uh, so here we are again hopefully with some good luck uh, I think that I'm gonna have 13 this time round and am I gonna pick or are you gonna you try can. and x-ray vision through the bags like you usually do two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, Okay, so John stormed the last one and he's probably ahead now certainly is in terms of the number of episodes he's had better returns over in the episodes I think that's a fake not the worst one I've seen if you look at the uh, Reverse, but the obverse, definite fake. So that'll go back in the bag. I think that might be as well. It's another 2014. I think that's the same. Two in one bag. And an auspicious start. The day celebration, St Paul's. And Charles Dickens. Off the mark. Another Dickens. Certainly any find that goes into the sheets is going to be a contender to win an episode now. Florence Nightingale. Would really like to find a rotation error as well. There's been lots of those found by other people, but not a sniff so far of one of those. We've got 1999. Not very nice condition, not going to be a keeper that one. Very, very slow start. And again, we've had such good luck with the recent hunts that you would think that uh, sooner or later we've got to have one that is pretty duff. Brunel portrait. And a Rugby World Cup. of the slave trade picked up the 2007 bunch set actually this week which obviously includes the smooth version of the 1807 
for the initials, DG, for the designer, another Bruno portrait, and I've got quite a bargain for that, it's uh, just 20 pounds. We've got the scouts in it as well, and I think the Act of Union, isn't it? 2007. Certainly not looking favourite to win this episode at the moment. Very nice shiny 2015 there, but no rotation. Another St Paul's VE Day celebrations. Certainly struggling on this one. My last half a hunt course in the last episode was pretty atrocious. This is rivaling that one that's for sure. The steam locomotive, terrific. Last bag, we need some very big last bag luck have a chance here I think. Another Trophithic. And that could well be it, yeah, so there really is slim pickings. Almost not a top find to, to crow about at all. Probably would be the 1999. Although the condition of that one's pretty awful. So, bringing John's bags. Oh no, they're more ones that were just bagged up. And the engine hunt them, I might have a chance of winning there. Basically anything of note, John wins. Fifteen fines in thirteen bags, and nothing better than an act of union. Army pals to start off. Nothing else. Shakespeare tragedies. Check the edge. Piece of work as a man. Yep. And that's certainly another one on the wish list. Error inscription. Bust. And check a couple of those for the old rotations. Another bust. Wow. Most uninspiring hunt for quite some time, unfortunately. Rugby World Cup. And another Shakespeare tragedies with the same edge inscription. No 
rotations on those last ones as well, John. And we fouls. It could just be a straight head to head on number of fines, I suppose, in the end on this one, unless you pull someone out of the bag. DNA. Contender for the best fine so far, unfortunately. Any 15s in those ones? One of those is awful, John. Yeah, I know. Yeah. A Marconi. That's quite nice. And a gunpowder plot. Find you up to two, four, six, eight. Mm. We're getting there anyway with the number as well. I think this could be the bag. Here oh, we go. Yeah. Win for me. Army pals. Uh, where do we start? Put the boot in. Go on, put the boot in. Robert Burns. All right, so that's the best one so far. Magna Carta. Magna Carta, and then it beats that one. Great fire alarm. Right, there we go. So <laughs> stick them in the front of the camera, John. Yeah, that's definitely sorted that one out. Two bags left still. Can't even blame your x ray vision for a picture bag. Abolition of slave trade. Final bag. Army Pals to finish on. There we go, so hold the cannon of Army Pals. Great for our London and Magna Carta, definitely the best finds. Burns close in there as well. Let's just have a quick look at those two then, John. Actually, the Great Fire, that's in decent condition. Lovely coin, and another Magna Carta. Seem to have had quite a run of Magna Cartas lately. So, John wins again, I think. No contest. Thanks for watching. We'll see you again soon.